good evening good day traditional sunday stream streaming red dead online i called it chilling in Le red dead online uh because you know it's a chill it's just just like usual stream if you've been on one such stream you know what will happen i will be just that on the background just i don't know searching for collectibles and mostly we'll be reading chat we will be discussing stuff that happened uh you know with red dead online with rockstar recently not much happened to be honest just like usually but there are some stuff to discuss anyway and hello welcome to everyone i see a lot of viewers are already uh, in the chat some even placed like already so thanks to everyone who placed a like chester do is saying no likes no bean chilling but bean not 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 like this but bean and uh yeah so first uh i wanted to discuss is uh, recent news it's uh that rockstar stopped giving amazon bonuses amazon prime bonuses for red dead online and gta online actually i was surprised that they're still giving uh bonuses for gta online actually <laughs> but these bonuses were so pathetic that who cares anyway but uh, actually for red dead online they were kind of not impressive as well as i already said but anyway they stopped this like an agreement with amazon and i guess we will see rockstar it's just my prediction but i think we will see them pushing their own subscription service like gta plus or maybe they will call it rockstar plus or maybe they will call it beans plus much harder we will see Arda F is saying first dislike well dislike is also an engagement so why not angry Aussie says it should say chilling in red online dead online oh yeah good one good one it's uh, if if you don't know about this uh, situation in the in the rockstar support article uh they called they made a typo and called red dead online just red online dead online and last time i checked they haven't fixed it that uh, i mean that's how little they care like really they cannot even type the name of the game correctly red online dead online the north packers fan says red online dead online should be the name of the new service uh, it, it will be more like dead online period but i mean it, it, it it's kind of funny uh, that they called red dead online this way but on, at the same time uh it's, it's just true it's just true <laughs> red online is kind of dead online and it's all rockstar's fault but again like what i i don't think it will necessarily happen but i'm just saying that it's you know possible uh that rockstar will try to focus on their own paid subscription because i don't know if you knew that but gta plus was available only for next gen consoles for next gen console version and uh, from what i know not too many people actually own it no, like not it was not like a big financial success even gta the trilogy the definitive edition sold much better than gta 5 next gen version artistic mess says that it should be just dead online it, yeah they they used few extra words thomas for life says they want us to forget red dead redemption online that is why maybe they don't care about the game <clears throat> uh you see the thing is like literally there is not a single reason for rockstar to want us forget about red dead online 
just because yeah let's say they don't want to make updates for this game okay but they still can make money out of this game and uh, like pretty easily sell all the outlaw passes sell all the cosmetic items uh, like horse masks they were part of outlaw passes but still you, you know like limited offer clothing take it all and uh, make uh, some sort of a subscription service it's it's like it's an easy money but they were not making it and now i finally have explanation why it's because of this uh, agreement with amazon And yeah, guys, hello and welcome. And by the way, we'll also speak a little bit about uh, next monthly event. It's gonna be uh, next Tuesday, so in a few days, on 4th of April. And uh, like from the very beginning, I, I will answer the question that I haven't seen anyone asking yet in the chat, but I'm pretty sure people will ask it. Like, Will there be a new update on, on in April or some new content? The answer is no. Not a chance. N no chance at all. Just because, according to SteamDB, nothing is being tested. Rockstar is not making any, any sort of, uh, any sort of uh, content. New content. It's, you know, it's possible that we will see something like some stuff returning to Red Dead Online uh, but as for new content no way just not gonna not gonna happen Duracell is saying cool accent oh it's it's French it's French it's a French accent yeah <laughs> Chester Du says no likes no angry Aussie uh, saying the saying saying they destroy i always have uh, issues reading your nickname dude uh not like i i read all other nicknames without issues but but anyway hey cat what's your favorite repeaters uh lancaster all day but actually you know what i i like how leechfield looks i like how leechfield looks oh no don't don't hit my horse uh, but uh, Lichfield is just is just bad. L Lancaster is much better. The but I don't really like Evans. I I only like how it sounds. For some reason, Evans uh, sounds pretty cool, but it's not a good repeater, and I don't really like how it looks. And as for carbine repeater, yeah, it's fine, but like, let's be honest, who is using it? No one, I guess. Mini Blues joins and says, howdy, cat and chat, howdy. Uh, Ruben Roche is saying, they could also make it able to create a new character. A actually, yeah, it's, it's a good idea. Uh, it's, you know, uh, Ruben, I agree with you that in this paid service, let's call it Beans Plus, right? Uh, they can add not only all the outlaw passes and some cosmetics, but also something, something that affects gameplay, like creating new character, having more stable uh, slots, and uh, who knows, maybe even invite-only lobbies. I don't want them to do so. Just, just want to make it clear. Each time when I say, like, oh, I think Rockstar will do this and this and will try to sell it to us for real life money a lot of people are saying like how dare you how dare you to advocate such model i'm not advocating such model i'm not saying i want to see it i'm just saying that i think it will happen it's a different story it's my predictions okay and uh, you know selling uh, invite only lobbies or second character slot for real life money in any form even if it's in the form of paid subscription in my opinion is kind of 
is almost pay to win if you want uh, and i don't really like it but i'm just saying that it's possible El Doderino says happily pay for subscription. Uh, actually, you know what El Doderino? It's a, it's interesting. Uh, you gave me an interesting idea. Let's make a poll. So, will you pay? How much? Uh, how much GTA Plus costs? Like six dollars, right? I don't remember actually. Will you pay six dollars a month for Red Dead Online? Plus, also known as Beans Plus, which, uh, and this Red Dead Online Plus is, uh, each month you, you have Quick Draw Club, like a small Outlaw Pass, right? Then, uh, I don't know, 10 Gold Bars, uh... What, what we were talking about, second character slot, second character slot, and let's say something, Let, let's add a little bit value, I, I don't know, invite only lobbies is too much, uh, but let's say uh, some limited offer clothing, offer clothing. So, it's like a deal of paid subscription for, for Red Dead Online, called Red Dead Online Plus, $6, price same as for GTA. Uh, so, it includes Quick Draw Club, every, different every month. So, maybe all the Quick Draw Clubs, new, and so, yes, if it will be new, yes, if it will be new, uh, you know, Quick Draw Club will be new, yes, even if uh i don't know it's like a, how to say it recycled recycled and uh, no we have three options so my question is too long oh boy Yeah, so here we go, guys. Let me know your opinion. Let me, uh, but first let me again explain the meaning of this vote. Sorry, I was not reading chat when making this vote because there are a lot of stuff. So uh, let's say Rockstar is making uh, some sort of a subscription service. $6 price is the same as for GTA Plus. What they offer is Quick Draw Club. But what do I mean by Quick Draw Club every month? It's a small outlaw pass, like the one that we received back in 2021 with Blood Money. You know, Quick Draw Club that you can finish and should finish in one month only. Like 20 levels, I believe it was 20 levels, some cosmetics, stuff like that. Uh, second, what they offer is 10 gold bars because they should have something right some gold and third is uh, like a second character slot and maybe some limited offer clothing el doderino says 25 levels in quick draw club oh it was 20 yeah 25 20 something like this easy to complete quick draw club Oh, I should have added another option. Uh, like, yes, I will buy it, but only if there will be new big updates. Something like this. So, anyway. Pink Glitch is asking, what's your current level? I'm pretty sure that it's 399 because I was not playing this week from my main account. I was playing from, from my secondary account. And uh, I still haven't reached level 400. Maybe today I will, who knows. 
Artistic Mass has an idea to call it Prestigious Beans Plus. That, you know what, that sounds, that sounds solid. That sounds solid. Payo is asking, does anyone have problems logging into Red Dead Redemption 2 on their PC? Actually, you know what, I have not played on a PC recently, but I know for sure that more players than usual have such problems. Like, I've seen it in my comments. I saw a lot of comments under my recent videos where people are complaining about the issues with login on a PC. I don't know, you know... It's definitely not everyone has issues, but maybe some... Maybe some regions, uh, maybe some... Maybe some specific... You know, PC specifications, like, you know, different PCs. Suleiman East uh, is asking, are you from Russia? No. Crystal Twix is asking, special clothing and special gun variants. I would pay for it. Uh, you know what? Special gun variants and... Uh, uh, like horse masks will be parts of Outlaw Pass. Uh, I'm pretty sure that in most, not in most, but in many Outlaw Passes and Quick Draw Clubs, uh, there were some, you know, unique gun variants. Not in all, probably, but in Quick Draw Clubs, for sure. I remember the special uh, skin for Mauser pistol, for Cattleman revolver, for something else. So, yeah. And uh, special clothing is definitely a part of a quick draw club. Cave Screech is uh, saying, I have issues logging into Red Dead Online. Motivational issues. Oh, yeah. These issues, I think, are much, much more common. By the way, we have 119 likes already, thanks to everyone who placed a like, thanks to everyone who's uh, supporting me on Patreon or YouTube membership, and uh, thanks to everyone who's watching in general. Chester is saying, Cat, being chilling sounds like ice cream in Chinese, and it's how John Cena pronounced ice cream. Well, that's a pretty long, uh, pretty long word, like bean chilling to call Chinese, uh, to call uh, Chinese ice cream. An ordinary stranger asks, what is Red Dead Online? Is a new update coming out? No, Red Dead Online is something that doesn't exist. I'm just, you know, making a, make a, making a poll. Uh, so asking for, for your opinion. It's, you know, but it's, it's something similar to GTA Online. That's why I have this name for this subscription. It's a subscription service. And again, guys, if you just joined the stream, it's not something that already exists. Um, it just theoretically Rockstar might add something like this. And now I'm interested and now, you know, I'm trying to find out like how many people will consider buying it. Donuts or cakes? Hmm, let me think. Donuts. Donuts. <laughs> there is saying I voted no okay guys if you voted no or yes I, I assume a lot of people already voted maybe give like detailed answer to the chat I voted no because uh, and uh, then your reasons or I voted yes because 
I just want to see something. X3 Man X is asking, is DDoSing still an issue with Red Dead Online for consoles? Uh, not only for consoles, for PC as well. Uh, but yeah, it's still an issue and I will tell you more, it always be an issue. Just because Rockstar is not trying to hide your IP uh, like at all. So, unfortunately, it always will be an issue. Oh, for example, uh, Nostalgia is saying, I voted yes because I'm desperate for content on Red Dead Online, lol. Well, that's a, that's a great answer. Job G saying, we want meager, bigger, bigger map with Mexico. I wanted to say meager, <laughs> which is like bigger, but starts with M. Uh, like, you know, if you combine map and bigger. Uh, but I don't think that they will add Mexico uh, for no cost. I, I, what I mean by that, I think th if they will add Mexico, it will be like... Uh, it will be like something that they will try to sell for as much money as possible. I don't know, make it a part of a next-gen Red, Red Dead Redemption version, or maybe... Who knows, maybe as paid DLC for Red Dead Redemption 2, something like that. I just, I just don't see them adding something as big as Mexico and just give it for free. You know, they cannot add something much, much less complicated like heists, right? Uh, and adding Mexico will require a lot of effort from them. I mean, they cannot even bring back all the outlaw passes, but... Uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, I only see it's possible them adding Mexico as a form of some paid DLC or something like this. Uh, uh, I'll be honest with you, I think adding Mexico, uh, you know, as additional value to... Whoa, whoa! What's wrong with you? Deer. Deer attacked me. <laughs> uh, you know, I think that Mexico will be a great selling point. So, let's say they make a Red Dead Redemption 2 next-gen version. And they make uh, it 60 FPS and sell it for full price. Yeah, a lot of people will buy it, but most will not buy it. Just because, you know, we, no one will not like no one, but not too many people will buy, pay $60 for just 60 FPS for Red Dead Redemption 2. But if they add Mexico expansion there, where you can travel in both single player and online, well, it's a different story. Salt Gaming Hindi says, why Rockstar abandoned Red Dead Online? We don't know for sure, actually. Chester is saying, who will pay the wall? <laughs> Actually, there is now the wall between Red Dead and Lions World and Mexico. You, you can still sneak into Mexico and uh, from Mexico, uh, but there is a sort of a wall. QCD says, I would be happy with just more opportunity missions. At least one opportunity missions where we finish the story. You know, because story, I, I said it many times and uh, like everybody knows that every high level, no, not even high level, long time player, that story is unfinished. Oh, super chat from Lost Space Guy. Thank you. I would like to see a Red Dead Redemption game that that's in 1867. Oh, so you you're probably talking about like Red Dead Redemption 3 here. 
uh, I would love to see this as well. More like a era of uh, classic westerns, like the good, the bad, and the ugly, and stuff like that. More like Wild West, because Red Dead Redemption 2 takes place in like 1899, and from how I understand, it's not already a Wild West times, but unfortunately, if it's really gonna be a Red Dead Redemption in uh, in 1867, there will be like no familiar faces from Red Dead Redemption 2, because even Uncle is not that old, or maybe actually Uncle is that old. So it can be about uncle's adventures. Artistic Mass is saying, does anybody know if gaming companies sold their online services to another company? Uh, that's the thing. I never heard such story. Never heard such story. <laughs> maybe, yeah, J02. Maybe Hosea was also... A young man, let's say, during that time. But that's pretty much it. Even even Landon Ricketts. Actually, I think Landon Ricketts is not that old. I think he's like uh, the same age as Arthur. Same year of birth, not age. Button says, hi everyone, hope everyone is go doing well. Hi, and yeah guys, hello, welcome, if you just joined, uh, see the voting, I'm asking, like, uh, and just to make it clear, Red Dead Online Plus does not exist, it's not something that exists, it's just, fear, uh, you know, in theory. Rockstar might someday add it. Strania says, Hello, I just started Red Dead Redemption 2 online about three weeks ago and I want to thank you for your great videos. Oh, I'm gl glad that you enjoyed them. Glad that you glad that you enjoyed them. Mini Blues says, Voted yes. I guess, again, voted yes, just because you want to see at least something new in Red Dead Online. At least something. Peter is saying, I get the fact that GTA generates more money, which is fine, but it has gone too far and desperate, in my opinion. This game needs some love too. It can be re-released six times as well. Actually, you know what, I'm, I'm not quite sure what you mean by re-released, uh, but it's one of... I was thinking about something like rebooting Red Dead Online, so something that Rockstar can do, again, in theory, again, I want to stress this out, I, I'm not saying they should do it, I don't think it's uh, uh, something a lot of players will like, and I personally will like, I'm just saying that it's possible, and uh, I think that releasing next-gen version of Red Dead Redemption 2 and rebooting Red Dead Online and completely from scratch. Total, uh, total vibe. Everyone starts from level 1. Different, different Red Dead Online. Changes, balance changes, you know, and stuff, stuff like that. Prices changed. Uh, all this that they've learned from Red Dead Online over these years, if they learned anything. They can use all that knowledge for reboot version of Red Dead Online. I, I just think that it's one of the options. Sickest MLG says, anything that brings this game back to life would be great. So I take it as yes, as well. Hauk uh, is asking, you should do a poll on Red Dead Online Reset. I would vote yes. Yes, I will make it. I will make it, guys. Again, I ask you if I will forget to make the poll after this poll will end. Remind me, please, that I wanted 
to make such poll and not only i lost space guy thanks again uh it wouldn't it be funny if they added a unicorn lol uh but you know it's it, it will be uh, they had something similar as uh, this unique mounts in red dead redemption one online but again in red dead online for some reason they cannot eat add uh, a donkey as a rideable mount or zebra or something like this w which would be cool if, if they do i mean i would buy donkey Uh, Ga Gamaliel asking, what are you doing? Just riding around uh, searching for collectibles. Because, you know, probably next month will be... Where are you going? Sorry, guys, technical issues. Uh, okay, whatever. He's, he's gonna be attacking my camera now. He always attacks camera. No, no. Okay. Sorry, technical issues. It's a cat cameo. <laughs> yeah. Okay, call is saying. Tanner is saying if you don't have at least 100,000 in Red Dead Online, you are broke. Let me check if I'm. If I have 100,000 or no. Yeah, I have. Foof, I'm not broken, rather than mine. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, it's a uh, cat meow. Pineapple says, love the videos. Thank you. I actually wanted to go to, uh, you know, to north. To Vapiti reservation to Ambarino and search for collectibles there because I was not searching any for any collectibles in that area for a long time. Sickest MLG says cat difficulties, <laughs> yeah, not not technical difficulties, but cat difficulties. Bunny, oh, mini blues, mini blues, thank you for super chat for all you do, cat, and there is a cat emote. Thanks. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, since we have this, uh, since we have this cat emote, it reminded me of something. Uh, Mini Blues reminded me of uh, something I wanted to ask you. How do you like new thumbnail, guys? I made a thumbnail for this stream just for fun. Uh, so. You know, it's like a... It has references to the good, the bad, and the ugly, and the Red Dead Redemption 2. Cool Gmod process. It's very nice. Andreas says, it's alright. Nostalgia says, definitely caught my eyes. It is great. I, I thought it's fun because, you know, it's a cat and, and in this poncho. Uh, looks pre pretty nice. Artistic Matt says, just by expanding the map to a new town could be enough DLC content for a couple of years. Uh, but again, it's it's again we're talking about Mexico, right? Because where where would you add a new town? It it makes sense to add uh, actually two towns in Mexico. Thumbnail is pur worthy. Galena says <laughs> very very cool very. I, for some reason I have like really hard time saying V and W like I I don't know uh, but v very cool very <laughs> it still sounds kind of weird uh, J02 says reminds me of RDR1 art style no it's more like RDR2 art style art style but with uh, you know this cat that is inspired by uh the good the bad and the ugly clint eastwood uh, character oh yeah should have guessed that this collectible item will be close to this sign cat 
Tahiti, you forgot, Chester reminds me. Yeah, guys, remember, no likes, no Tahiti. I have a plan. Just need few more likes. Artistic masses, epic thumbnails. Thanks. Last time you played story mode. Actually, I played story mode last week. I played story mode because I I never you know I never checked uh, the bad ending. Uh, actually, every ending in Red Dead Redemption 2 is kind of bad. Sorry for spoilers, but I never uh, I never seen these endings when you have a low honor. So I um, I had last save like one or two missions before the last mission with Arthur. So I logged in, I made minimum honor, because I always had a maximum honor in Red Dead Redemption. And anyway, I went to the last mission and completed it. Seekest MLG says that yes, it's Cat Eastwood. Yeah, so sounds cool actually. Or maybe Clint Catwood. Actually, Catwood sounds like a real, uh, like a real surname. What kind of horse do you have? A friend is asking. Uh, it's a Turkoman. Turkoman. And now I'm going to one of my favorite uh, areas on this map. Unfortunately, it has like. Mm, I would say not enough content. Uh, there are very. Not too often you get any reason to travel here, but it's it's beautiful. No, it's catwood, catwood. What is that court? This court is from Outlaw Pass Four, so it's it's not available anymore. It was like few years ago in, in the game almost more than two years ago actually wow how can i level up in trader actually i have a, a small guide on a channel in which i'm explaining how you can level up trader role like extremely fast M working method go try it uh, just just search on my channel, okay? Level up trader fast. Icarcana. Thank you, Icarcana, for super chat. No message, unfortunately, but what I can say that your... Uh, this, uh, how it's called, an, not a an Nikon, avatar, avatar picture is pretty cool. I'm not even sure if it's from Red Dead Redemption or it's uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 inspired. Definitely Red Dead Redemption 2 inspired, but maybe it's one of the frames in Red Dead Redemption somewhere, but it looks cool. Just saying. Tristan. Thank you Tristan for super chat. And Tristan is saying, any word if Rockstar will bring back the Outlaw Passes? No, unfortunately there are no information uh about this but i still think that now when they ended their agreement with uh amazon about you know connecting prime to Re uh, rockstar social club account and getting some bonuses in red dead online and gd online uh now when this deal is over maybe they will stay oh, oh uh, i'm stuck <laughs> And some dude is waving at me. Uh, anyway, I think that they can really uh, think about adding out outlaw passes. But unfortunately, if it will happen, it can only happen, in my opinion, in the form of uh, paid subscription. Do you have a cat? Renegade is asking. Yes, it was on the stream, like... Uh, 10 minutes ago or so. Now, now he's sleeping, so I'm not. I cannot show you my cat because he's 
he's trying to fall asleep and he if he will not fall asleep i'm afraid he's gonna be jumping all over and maybe it will turn uh, the camera and i don't want this to happen why i you use the collector map i actually don't use the collector map if i were using collector map i were finding uh, collectibles much much faster and easier i'm just i'm just riding around and uh searching for collectibles that that's it so red dead king uh, 1738 apparently there is a gdn line dlc towards the end of the year that requires players to have next gen version to play never ha never heard about such information being confirmed i i've seen such rumors but uh, again it's it's not it's not for sure Caro UK, thank you. Caro UK is showing a peer that makes a thumbs, thumbs up. Crystal says, I have two black cats and I have two gray cats. I guess I love gray cats. And by the, uh, by the way, cat on my, on a thumbnail is just, uh, it's my cat not like he has such poncho or something but it's uh, it's my cat i made you know what i've made in in this ai program me journey so many different pictures of my cat in different like uh, so, some i made because kids were asking me some i made just for fun <laughs> but i just enjoyed uh, you know doing stuff like this so what games do you play besides red dead uh a lot of games actually i play hogwarts legacy uh, recently i play overwatch i play call of duty i play magic the gathering i oh actually diablo 4 i never thought that i will be playing diablo but i decided to try open beta and uh some uh, unexpectedly but it's just it's just something that i was looking for for a long time diablo i was like non-stop playing during few days of beta i really like the game i definitely will buy it definitely will play it i don't know maybe i will make a stream or something uh, but uh, i have not enjoyed a game uh for a long time like i enjoyed diablo 4 beta and again, and uh, I I I played, I completed and played a lot of Diablo first. Uh, second, I only completed, and third, I almost never touched. So I was not expecting uh, that I will enjoy it so much. Redskin is saying hi, cat, and great folks in chat. Hope you all happy and well. Hi, Redskin. Your favorite character in Red Dead Redemption 2? I don't know, maybe Hosea. Yeah, probably Hosea. But it, it's just... No, it, the answer is a little bit different. If you're asking which character I like the most, like, like a person, it's, it's gonna be Hosea, but if you will ask which character is the most interesting and well-developed character in my, in my opinion, well, definitely it's gonna be Dutch. I think Dutch is, uh, is just a great character. Like, really small amount of collectibles i'm finding today and yeah i'm not using i'm not using uh, interactive maps so it's like pure luck but usually i find more collectibles even when just ri uh, riding around 
Renegade is asking, do you play chess? I'm actually uh, an international chess master. But I was not playing chess for 20 years. More than 20 years now. But when I was a kid, I, you know, I was studying chess and I became a chess master. Danny M is saying, really? Yeah, really. I don't know, like, uh, if I'm still... I definitely cannot compete on a level as back in the day, like, playing other chess masters. But I still think that I can beat, like, average player of a little bit lower level, because, you know, as we can say, as we say, you cannot drink too much vodka, so much vodka, so you will lose your skill. It's an, it's, it's, I tried to translate proverb. But anyway, even seen, uh, despite the fact that I was not playing for 20 years, I still think that I'm relatively good, because it's not something that you can forget, actually. Okay, let's dig. The Seeker says, I like playing chess, but I'm terrible at it. Well, chess, unlike many other games, has, uh, you know, requires a lot of time to just, uh, not even to learn the basics, but to start at least understand uh, what what is going on. Like, after you learn the basic, you will be, like, a pretty bad player for quite some time, and... Uh, Comparing to other other games for a long time. Tanner is saying, will you tell me your opinion of the new game Hogwarts Legacy? Did you enjoy it? How would you review it? I enjoyed it. And I enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed the story even more than I expected. But there is a problem with Hogwarts Legacy. Open world just uh, don't feel alive. So it's like a game that you buy. Like, you know, traditional game. You buy it, you spend 50 hours in it or something. I spent a little more, but uh, I completed some side challenges and stuff. Uh, you spend it and you forget about it. And that's it. You complete it. Nice. So... If you like Harry Potter or you just want something something it, I don't know what to compare this game to but you know just some good game single player decent story uh, kind of useless open world absolutely unnecessary but Hogwarts itself is great uh, so decent combat mechanics, it's actually kind of fun, puzzles and stuff. So yeah, it's a good game, I enjoyed it. But not something I keep on playing one month after release, you know. Joe Hill. Thank you, Joe Hill, for Super Chat. My all-time favorite video game protagonist is Arthur Morgan. If they ever make an HBO series with on Red Dead, who would you... Like to see play Arthur, John, and Dutch. Oh, it's a, it's a great question. I actually was thinking about it. Well, first of all, I must say, I don't know if it's a popular point of view or controversial, but I think that original cast of Red Dead Redemption 2, they can play in a TV series as well. And they will do it even better than actors that you can hire. I think that, you know, Roger Clark still can play Arthur Morgan. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been many years and now he's older than Arthur Morgan in the game. But it's not a problem, I think. I, I, I really think they all can play um, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 characters in TV series and it will be fine. But if we, if we were casting... If we were casting players, uh, not players, but actors, real, act, you know, 
I said real actors, but TV or movie stars, something like this. Uh, voice actors are real actors as well. But anyway, if we were talking about TV, uh, some famous people from TV. You were asking about Dutch John and Arthur John and Arthur. I don't know. I'm trying now to think who can play who can play Arthur from the very you know since it's a main role. But I didn't know. Akmal is saying Dutch Jeff Bridges. N Nah, I will disagree. I don't think that Jeff Bridges looks like Dutch. Zach Story. Thank you, Zach. Uh, when do you think the title update will be? Uh, best case scenario and most probable July. If it will be ever, I don't expect to see it before July. Haha. <laughs> Chester Du wants to see John Cena as Arthur. I don't know, it sounds weird, but maybe Chris Hemsworth for Arthur. I think... Yeah, I know the dude has more uh, like comic... Uh, uh, mostly famous for comic roles in some comedies and stuff, but I think he kind of he might look like Arthur. I don't know. Let me know in the chat. What do you think? Can uh, Chris Hemsworth uh, be an Arthur in RDR2? Jack Black for Micah, <laughs> says Tristan. Putis says yes. So you agree with Cream's with my with my casting choices. Tanner says, I knew you would agree with me, Kat. So you probably offered Chris Hemsworth as well. So I'm not alone here, right? Uh, Brandon Fraser. Maybe young uh, brain Brandon Fraser would look like Arthur, yeah. Thank you, BP Aka Big uh, Popa. Hey Cat, was shocked you didn't play RDR story until recent recently after playing Red Dead Online first. What do you think about story? Keep up great content from Australia. Uh, thanks again. Uh, I'm not showing thumbs up. Thanks again. Uh, greetings to Australia. Well, I enjoyed Red Dead Redemption 2 story much, much more than I've expected. And uh, I spent a lot of time in Red Dead Online because I enjoyed the world, but uh, when I played the uh, story, I really didn't regret it. And uh, it's just, you know, I think, I think that, like, how to say it, now I want more. That's the problem with playing Red Dead Redemption. It's like, you know, you play it and you want more. As a part of paid DLC or want to see Red Dead Redemption 3, like now I'm really curious to find out the story about young Dutch, Hosea and Arthur, like, you know, all these issues with Cole Madriscal, what happened in Blackwater after all, it's not young, but, you know, start a story with uh, Dutch uh, running away from home and uh, as, a, as a kid, basically, and uh, go through and uh, see how it ended in Blackwater, something like this. And it's not similar to Red Dead Redemption 1, because after playing Red Dead Redemption 1, I don't know if, is it just me, or it's just not the same vibe as Red Dead Redemption 2 for all other players, but what I'm trying to say is that after playing Red Dead Redemption 1, 
I don't really want to see any sort of continuation of this story, like literally. I don't care what will happen to J Jack Marston, like I don't care at all. I don't want to see Jack Marston in Red Dead Redemption 3. Maybe Landon Ricketts a little bit, but as for rest characters, like who cares? And uh, actually Tanner is saying, come on, Red Dead 3 has to have Jack as the main character. I would disagree. I, I think Red Dead Redemption 3 will be much interesting if uh, main character will be Young Dutch. Uh, I was thinking about... Uh, I actually had an actor that I wanted... I, uh, You know, I saw some dude in a movie and I thought like, oh... He looks like Dutch, and now I completely forgot the actor, and it's a, it's a famous actor. Also, another, another option for, you know, for who can play Arthur uh, is uh, Superman. You know, Superman, dude who played Witcher, I forgot his name. Yes, Seeker, Daniel Day-Lewis, yes, thank you. Daniel Day Lewis, and he's a great actor as well. I think he can play Dutch. Cavill, yeah, yeah. And Chester Du also says Daniel Day Lewis, yeah. D Daniel Del Day, <laughs> Daniel uh, Day Lewis for Dutch. Maybe Henry Cavill or Chris Hemsworth for uh, Arthur. I think Henry Cavill might be a little bit more suitable for this role, uh, just because he looks more like uh, Arthur. Tom Hardy would actually be a great Micah. No, no way. I disagree here. Hlip Kaja. Clint Eastwood should be Hosea. Yeah, Clint Eastwood should be Hosea. Great. Uh, yeah, I agree. Actually, you know, it's just because I like Clint Eastwood and I like Hosea. That's why I, I think that uh, uh, it would be cool. He's a little bit old, to be honest, but uh, Clint Eastwood. Uh, but still. Uh, Amberlita is also saying that like Clint Eastwood is like 90 years old, no way, but yeah, but you, you know, it's possible to make uh, in, in TV series, make age of different actors, uh, of different characters a little bit different. So it, what what is the big problem to have like an old Hosea? He's an old man in Red Dead Redemption 2 anyways. He's not running and shooting, he's just, you know, a wise guy walking around and uh, mumbling. <laughs> That's what old people do, like me. <laughs> so yeah, I think I think still uh, he can play Hosea. Zack Story, thanks again. Uh, Arthur, Taylor, Arthur Taylor Johnson would be amazing as Dutch. If you don't know who that is, which I don't know, so I will Google now. Uh, it's the guy who plays Tangerine in Bull. Oh no, Tangerine is too young to be Dutch. Like I would disagree. He's like he's like forty years maximum. He ain't look like Dutch at all. Maybe he can play John Marston, but not Dutch. Yeah, I, I would disagree, actually. I mean, maybe in 10 years or something, but that should be older, much older. Cat, how about Killian Murphy? Uh, I don't think that there is a... I think Killian Murphy is a great, great actor, but I don't see any role for him, except, and you're gonna laugh now, and maybe you will not like it, except Agent Milton. I think that... You know, Killian Murphy can can be a great Agent Milton. He he looks a little bit like Agent Milton, not much, 
but he can make this like real villain, you know. Darren Lee says, Rockstar is way too cheap for tier A list celebrities. Here is the thing, if Red Dead Redemption 2 movie or TV series will ever happen, it's not Rockstar who will pay actors. It's gonna be HBO or maybe, I don't think Net Netflix, I, I would like to see it from HBO to be honest. Or, or I don't know Warner Warner Brothers something some big movie making company. Amberlita is saying the most important thing about casting Arthur is not that the actor looks like him, uh, he uh, but that he is a really great actor. Roger Clark did it so great. You need an actor who can do Arthur justice. Well, if we're talking about great actors, there are some good list. Uh, some people who don't look like Arthur Morgan at all, like I don't know, Christian Bale can can play him. Chester is asking, "Cat, how about Peaky Blinders Arthur Shelby actor as Dutch?" Well, he looks a little bit. But no, no I, I still think that Daniel Dale use if they uh, suits the best. Um, but yeah, but uh, you see, the problem with Christian Bale uh, is that actually Red Dead Redemption Two was inspired by many classic Western movies, including. 310 to Yuma where he played <laughs> so it, it would be kind of weird situation Parsa uh, Pedro Pascal as Arthur possible because uh, Pedro Pascal is playing in The Last of Us TV series he's playing Joel and Joel is a pretty much very very similar character to Arthur. Well, again, maybe if they were even taking some inspiration in Joel from Last of Us work when creating Arthur. Uh, so yeah, it's possible. Okay, I'm getting close to this treasure. Oh, look how, how many fish in the sea. You think William Defoe would make a good Hosea Matthews? Maybe. He's not looking too similar to Hosea Matthews, to be honest. But he can make. <laughs> Mia Khalifa as Madame Nazar. That's type of DLC I want to see in Red Dead Online. Uh, who would play the Pinkerton agents? I I uh, I offer to ah <laughs> bear killed me. <laughs> what the oh first deer at the beginning of the stream attacked me. Now bear, what is going on, guys? Uh, I, I suggest uh, Killian Murphy as Agent Milton. Not sure about Agent Ross, though. Uh, Epic Chaos. Epic Chaos. Thank you, Epic Chaos. Uh, much love from Denmark. Greetings to Denmark. Okay, okay. Oh, no, no, not again. Not again. Do I have a shotgun or something? Where is, where is this bear? Hey, bear. Where are you? Bear, he's hiding in the bushes somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> I hope. Okay, whatever. Let's g let's continue. Maybe he's waiting until I will.
Cream says Johnny Depp will be good in Red Dead. On one hand, I think that Johnny Depp can be good in any movie. On the other hand, I just don't see uh, Johnny Depp playing any role in Red Dead Redemption 2. I just, I just don't see like him being um him look like some of the characters of red dead redemption 2. zach story thank you zach hear me out josh brolin as author josh brolin again it's a great choice but he's a little bit too old now to play author i mean he's like 60 years old or something maybe i'm wrong let me google it like maybe 10 years ago, again, George Brolin was playing in No Country for Old Men, and he's a cowboy there, and he really looks like Arthur, and his character even a little bit, like, you know, reminds me of Arthur. Not much, but I see some similarities, but I still think, yeah, he's 55 years old now. But maybe, maybe, he, maybe it's fine. Maybe he can play Arthur. Sean is saying, uh, way to Villani vibes for Brolin. Brolin is not always playing some good characters. Uh, so I think it's, it's, it's fine. But the only issue that uh, I see here is that he's like um, a little bit too old to play Arthur. Carol UK is saying Roger's going to be at that Red Dead uh, convention in tombstone arizona in july yeah i've heard about it actually and uh, not only him but uh, from if i remember correctly like pretty much all red dead redemption to uh, voice actors will be there uh, in july with about 10 other cast members i think more than 10 cast members there are like a lot of people i wish i could afford it yeah, it's, pr it's pretty far. It's pretty far. Arizona is like really far. Huck Finn says, Angela... <laughs> uh, Jolie as Miss Grimshaw. Well... Maybe. Maybe. Eddie Spaghetti is saying, yeah, movies are too short, better to make a series. I also would rather see a TV series from HBO, obviously, uh, Red Dead Redemption, about Red Dead Redemption 2, than a movie. Uh, because, you know, Red Dead Redemption story is, is a pretty long story. And if you will make a movie, even like a three hour movie, three hour long, you still will have to cut a lot. And even if you will make a TV series, you will probably have to cut a lot of important things. But if if it's a movie, well, just too much stuff will be removed. Cat, Sean Bean. Sean Bean can play uh, this. Uh, I forgot the name of the dude who dies at the very first scene of Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> because Sean Bean dies in every movie. We don't even see him, only his dead body. Chris Rock as Lenny Summers. Again, Lenny is much younger. Much younger. Davy Calendar. Thank you, Aditya. Yeah, exactly. That's... Uh, that's. Actually, I think that it's quite possible that Davy Calendar will be a protagonist, a protagonist of Red Dead Redemption 3. 
it's it will make a lot of sense and spoiler he will die but you know every red dead redemption series protagonist is kind of dying so no surprises here how I can upgrade my ability cards faster. Oh, uh, e equip ability cards that you want to level up when completing uh, trader deliveries or let's say selling collectible items, not collectible items, but full collectible sets. Uh, because experience that you get from rolls also counts, uh, you know, to upgrade your ability cards it's a, just a small trick but it it will help you a lot okay i've been here so let's fast travel to some other part of the map zach story thanks again zach chris pratt would be a pretty good arthur morgan i i don't know i i don't it's just maybe it's just me but i i i think that chris pratt is like a true uh comedian he he's in my opinion he's good only in c movies that are comedies or close to comedies like jurassic park in any movie that even tries to be serious i saw chris pratt and thought like it's it's not his role again only my opinion you might disagree Cat, who will you replace as Sadie? Actually, um, a voice actress for Sadie, she's also plays in TV series and movies, so I think, uh, especially here, uh, she can play, but I think Margot Robbie would be also an interesting choice. I think uh, she even looks like Sadie a little bit. Brie Larson as Sadie. Please don't uh, invite Brie Larson to this movie. Arthur Morgan is funny and comedian as well as Chris Pratt. Ar Arthur Morgan is not that type of funny. You know, there are different kinds of funny, and Arthur Morgan is definitely a different type. So... Plus, overall, it's a dramatic role. <laughs> Dwayne Johnson. That guy is uh, asking if it's a good, if it's a good idea. Where did this conversation came from? From one super chat, from one super chat, and it's you know it's a really interesting conversation, really interesting topic to discuss. Bradley Cooper is probably the best pick for Arthur Morgan. Yeah, Bradley Cooper is good pick. Yeah, I agree. Not sure if uh, the best, uh, but good. Oh, bounty target nearby. I can earn like one dollar or something. No, thank you. Beetlejuice says, it's been an hour. When is the voting gonna end? Oh, thank you for reminding me. It's gonna end right now. So ending, ending voting. So where are results? Results. Here we go. So the question was, will you pay $6 for Red Dead Online Plus? Uh, which will include Quick Draw Club. Every month, 10 gold bars, second character slot, and some limited offer clothing. 53% uh, <clears throat> will not buy it, which you might say is a lot, but uh, you know what? 
the truth about microtransactions in in games is that most players never buy it so it's it's fine uh yes if it will be new 33 percent and yes even if recycled 13 percent and i will say that these numbers are pretty pretty optimistic for rockstar really Seb is saying, uh, let me cook Johnny Depp as Trelawney. Actually, yeah, Johnny Depp can play Trelawney. I said that I just cannot imagine any character Johnny Depp can play, but Trelawney is, is, just, a, is just a great... Yeah, it's just a, it's a great idea for Johnny Depp to play Trelawney. Not like, you know, some star as big as Johnny Depp will agree to play such a small role. Uh, because he's not, he's not a main character, Trelawney, so he's not. But I think that it's possible. Sean is saying, no way. Sean disagrees. That... Johnny Depp can be Trelawney, but I think he can. But yeah, but you know what, guys? If it's gonna be a series from HBO, probably most uh, actors uh, playing characters in Red Dead Redemption 2 uh, will be not as famous as uh, people were talking about here maybe the main role but it's, it's definitely not gonna be such a big stars yeah yeah Halli says do you think johnny depp would fit to play thomas shelby uh Maybe. I mean, he played uh, Dillinger. Is that like the same character, obviously? But you know, and I enjoyed this movie. Uh, I, I I remember it was not super well received. Uh, it was called Public Enemy or something, but where Johnny Depp played Dillinger, and but I thought that Johnny was good there. Uh, Chester is saying, Cat, how about Grace Burch's Thomas Shelby first wife as said? Mm. Maybe you know what ha who can play Arthur? Colin Farrell? Not Will Farrell, uh, you know, but Colin Farrell. Uh, Beetlejuice one says, Buffering. Do I have any issues with no it says excellent connection so i sh think it should be fine yeah uh, let me know guys if uh, if it's if there are some some problems oh works fine now so it was it was some issue with uh with uh youtube servers uh white hair says do you play a pvp uh a little bit when it's a hardcore series uh but i i stopped playing red dead online pvp long time ago i play pvp in other games obviously but uh there are like way too many issues with pvp in red dead online and in gta online where is oh this treasure should be somewhere here Oh, guys, by the way, I, I, uh, when we were making first poll, I actually, uh, I actually wanted to make a poll about, like, if Red Dead Online should be a reset. So let's ask, uh, like, I don't know how to ask it. Let's say, uh, is it a good idea? to reboot 
I will make it all caps Red Dead Online like by reboot I mean like complete reboot they uh, delete all characters on a new platform like uh, on next gen ti uh, consoles let's say release a next gen version and with this next gen version make something like red dead online 2.0 with a lot of change changes and stuff so is it good idea to re reboot uh, red dead online on a uh, next gen console if there will be a next gen console version yes no only two options here let me know by giving your vote because you know uh, like what is the idea behind reboot red dead online has a lot of issues with ec economy with uh, bugs uh, with you know um, with stuff like glitches uh, and stuff and, and so on and so on so maybe rockstar just cannot make money out of this game in its current state i think they can i disagree with this statement but some people say that oh there is no way rockstar can make money out of this game with broken economy and stuff like that so uh, that's why they abandoned and uh, so I if it's true let's say it's true uh so what do you think will rebooting red dead online like completely like you know they sell next gen version they sell it for pc as well with improved graphics or something i'm not sure if anyone will buy it on pc and there they reboot red dead online they change economy from the start they change some stuff add new content and stuff i hope i explained the idea so it makes sense Obviously, you know, if we're asking, should it be rebooted on existing, uh, uh, like, uh, on PlayStation 4 and Xbox, uh, Ox Xbox One, I think most people will decide not to lose a character, a progression, even if they're not playing anymore. So, I'm asking specifically about next-gen version. Karo UK is asking, and people lose their character. No, the point is, like, uh, next-gen version released for next-gen consoles for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, and there, like, it's a separate Red Dead Online, rebooted. So, it's like an attempt uh, to fix things uh, from rockstar no actually this treasure oh ooh, ow i killed myself cream says no just add new content like they're doing in gta 5 and fix some of the issues well it sounds like a good idea but rockstar is not doing it for some reason MZ saying John Travolta and Samuel L. Jackson can play two escaped convicts black and white. I don't know what what kind of movie you are talking about. Oh, it's in Red Dead Redemption 2. It's a side quest where we see two prisoners. Do you still play GTA Online? No, I haven't. I have not even played this. Uh, second part of uh of a dlc not a dlc but you know the story drug wars update how it's called last dose maybe i will but it's just like meh artistic mess just my opinion take two is as much to blame if not then rockstar take two made their choices that deeply affect Red Dead Online. My opinion is that Red Dead Online and Take Two should be seen as a one actor, as a one entity. 
if we're talking about everything they've done. Because people say like, oh, it's not Rockstar a bad. Let's say, let's say Take Two is suing down mo uh, modders, but not bad modders who make mod menus for online. No, good modders who make uh, mods for single player games. It happened many times. And people go and say like, oh, it's, it's Take Two to blame, not Rockstar. But you know what? Take Two has many gaming companies who own a lot of different IPs. And I don't remember stories of Take Two suing modders who were making mods uh, for something that belongs to 2K. You just don't remember. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, it really looks like what Take Two is doing when we're talking about Rockstar is definitely not something that Rockstar has nothing to do with at all. Devious Diacon says, "Why do you still play RDR2? I don't know. It's kind of chill, and." Uh, I said it many times. For me, Red Dead Online is like a perfect background uh, uh, when I'm uh, listening to podcasts or music or something like this. Cannot find this treasure. Galena is saying, if Rockstar reboots it, will it be, will it just be ruined version 2.0? Probably in some time, yes. <laughs> Unfortunately. Car UK says, cat plays so we don't have to, and we can just enjoy watching only joking. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's it's what streams are all about, right? Are you streaming on, on PC or console right now? Right now, just like actually always, I'm, oh, my hair dress, something is wrong with it. Uh, anyway, I'm streaming from Xbox Series X. Just because, you know, streaming from PC is not safe. Especially uh, Red Dead Online and GTA Online. Guys, no, they are not rebooting it. I again, today on a stream we're discussing like uh, hypothetical situations. First we were discussing Red Dead Online Plus paid subscription service and now we're discussing rebooting Red Dead, uh, Red Dead Online in some form. Oh, so maybe it's here? No, not here. Darren Lee says, we are in a dream state. Yeah, more or less. Ninja Squirrel is asking Hi Cat, isn't it time there was a next-gen only Wild West game made by someone not Rockstar? No, I don't remember anything like that. I, you know what? I would I would have noticed something like this. I don't remember uh, any triple A uh, not even next-gen but just any triple A Wild West title. Don't remember anything. I wish, I wish there was something like this. Try Weird West. Weird West is not triple A, not even close. But yeah, there are some titles about Wild West. Uh, my land is your land, uh, evil west, uh, weird west, uh, but and and some of them are even good. But it's just 
you know, it's it's not a competitor to Red Dead Redemption or even Red Dead Online, unfortunately. It's just a different, uh, different, uh, different scale. Oh, maybe it's it's here. Can I go up? No. Kinda lost. Uh, Fox Goofy says there is that Wild West game called Hunt. I think not a triple. Maybe you mean Hunt Showdown. Uh, it's it's like a completely different genre, and and this one is good. But again, it's it's not it's not it's not triple A, and it's not a competitor. Vision says GTA is better than Red Dead. Just to make it clear, Vision is a constant viewer who kind of tries to troll uh viewers and says like all the time oh rockstar made a new post on twitter huge update and uh you, you know doing doing stuff uh to get a reaction beetlejuice says very annoying to reach you should you should skip it probably on the, like here it's probably here uphill I will try to find uh, how to get there. Uh, Captain Yellow says, You think we will get RDR2 subscription after canceling Twitch Prime Awards? Yes, actually I think uh, that it's... Uh, not like, you know, again, uh, not like I think it will happen. I'm just saying it's now much more likely to happen. And uh, it will make sense now why Rockstar is not trying to get any sort of money off Red Dead Online, even after abandoning it. Oh, so I guess I should I should go uphill somewhere. Can I jump here? Ah, no, 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 no. Maybe here. We I mean it definitely should be there upwards somewhere. Oh Okay, I, I will remove metal detector. Uh Fox Goofy is saying, you aren't a popular YouTuber until you have a good amount of trolls following you, just like Kat does. Uh, the, the fun thing is, I remember back in the day I had streams for, uh, with average like 50 viewers, and back then there was no trolls at all. No trolls, no haters, you know, when channel was small, uh, like until I reached I would say 10,000 subscribers there was no trolls haters uh, any sort of neg negativity in comments at all you might say well it's because like not many people were watching your videos and that's true but it's you know what's kind of kind of interesting uh, kind of interesting and different experience can I get like here Oh, yeah, we can. Let's go. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Oh. Nice. I found it. Should be. Definitely should be here. If it's not here, it, it will be a huge fail. Uh, Lil is asking, no bonuses are limited clothing this month. I said, uh, uh, there is one thing, monthly event have not started yet. It will start next Tuesday on 4th of April and then we will see. Uh, so it's, it's still uh, like previous monthly event.
Ja, und Where is this treasure? I mean... Yeah, it should be here. Here we are! Finally! Finally! Treasure being found. And as you can see, I have quite a lot of uh, full collections. So, as Beetlejuice uh, says in the comments now, hopefully it's going to be a collector roll month uh, next. We will see. It's like a few days left. Uh, but again, guys, don't expect any content, uh, any surprises. Uh, probably there will be some bonuses, discounts. I think actually there will be good bonuses and discounts this time Like better than last month Something more significant, maybe maybe extra like double payout on collector Stuff like this Darren Lee says, Rockstar should respond to Cat because he has been a great supporter for the game. They won't though. Oh no, Rockstar is not responding to anyone, so I don't think uh, it's possible. Uh, <clears throat> I think uh, they should not respond, uh, but they should... Uh, they should pay more attention to what community is uh, asking from this game and uh, by community i don't mean me or even m viewers of my channel but there are multiple ways of find of finding out what players want to see in the game and uh, apparently rockstar is not using any of these ways not making any polls not uh, reading like forums nothing otherwise like it, it it's hard to explain why naturalist even happened no one was really asking for it um but yeah rockstar is kind of doing the usual stuff with low communication with not listening not caring um about what community wants to see and then like oh no this game is not as profitable as we want it to be Raf Kran says do you think it's worth getting naturalist role if you have every other role yes if you have every other role definitely yes because from naturalist roll you have an improvement to amount of tonics you can carry uh, It's important one Also you have a wilderness camp Pretty cool stuff And I mean ne Legendary animals are kind of fun It's not like it's not like terrible roll It's just not something you want to buy before you will buy all other rolls It's LNZ says, I wonder if they ever fix the naturally sampled dailies. Uh, from, if I remember correctly, this bug uh, is appeared at the same time as stable glitch. Uh, so maybe when they will fix uh, stables, they will fix uh, naturalist as well. Uh, they kind of mentioned future title update. Uh, Rockstar support uh, like really used these words So I think somewhere in the summer uh, there will be a, like a patch Maybe if they will make it an update who knows add telegram missions and stuff We will see but I think they will fix it then or maybe they won't who knows maybe they will fix it and uh, make Ten new bugs and glitches. Uh, 
But yeah, there were a lot of bugs introduced in the September title update. No, none of them is fixed. Uh, but we will see, you know. Excellency says, oh, for sure we will see new glitches and bugs. It always happens like this. Uh, they fix uh, old bugs and introduce a lot of new bugs. Even when, you know what? what's interesting? Even when they're not adding content, they're adding some new bugs somehow. I'm not quite sure how they're doing it. Hugfin says, lol, still got uh, the stable bug, ha ha ha, how many months now? Since September, since September. Amberlita says, cat, did you ever think of playing Ghost of Tsushima? I think you would like it. Ghost of Tsushima is a uh, PlayStation exclusive, I'm not quite sure if it was ever released on PC, I will Google now. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima. No, it was not released on a PC, so I uh, I cannot play it because I don't have a PlayStation. But l game looks kind of fun to me. If I had a pl PlayStation, I I probably would play it. If it will be released on a PC, I think I will play it unless it will be like a terrible <clears throat> PC port, like uh, a lot of PC ports uh, nowadays. Putis is asking, what is the stable glitch? Oh, the stable glitch is when you try to enter stables and get stuck there. Uh, you you, st you still can like avoid this glitch um, uh, if you will dismount, make your horse flee, wait until it will be uh, not visible on the minimap. So just disappear from a minimap and then enter stables unmounted. Uh, it's it's not gonna happen with you, but it's it's a pretty annoying. Like beginners don't know about this glitch, uh, don't know how to fix it, and Rockstar is not doing anything. And it's been like half a year now, even more. But Rockstar kinda promised to fix it. That's like official stuff they said Rat Han says Ghost of Tsushima will probably be released this year for, for PC I, I haven't heard such rumors um, but but it's quite possible because you know they are releasing a lot of PlayStation exclusives on a PC like God of War uh, Days Gone I believe was released and uh, Last of Us stuff like this Fox Goofy says, honestly guys, if they start charging us for new DLCs, I would buy them. At least they uh, they would be a steady strip of new content. Yeah, I mean, if Rockstar will promise, uh, promise, you know, new content, I think a lot of people will buy new DLCs, but... Rockstar uh, can do something lazy and greedy a little bit and still make some money uh, by just releasing some old content uh, behind the paywall. And uh, unfortunately, I think it's more likely. Oh, no. Okay, so it's a tarot cards, and I, I think I have like maximum amount of all tarot cards now. Actually, Amberlita is is making a good point. GTA Plus exists, and there is no reliable steam of new content. Exactly, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, the fact that they will start selling paid subscription doesn't mean that they will use this money on creating new good content. I mean, think about it. It's actually, it's a great example. Like, after GTA Plus was uh, added 
to GTA, right? GTA Online started to receive even less content than before. It's, it's really interesting, but it's true. After they added paid subscription, they started to release less content because both uh, these bigger DLCs uh, that GTA Online received in 2022 were much smaller than G DLCs previous in previous years. And in my opinion, not only much smaller DLCs, but also uh, much more lame. It's literally uh, GTA Online just received the blood money update twice in 2022. Like recycled content, uh, not, not even that interesting. Uh, missions, uh, everything in a drip feed. Nothing, nothing special, nothing creative. And uh, th they trying to sell GTA Plus, which which is weird. I actually, uh, since we're talking about GTA Plus, I never seen any sort of a data of how many subscriptions of gta plus they managed to sell like take two is not sharing such information all they uh, they said about uh, gta plus is that it it exceeded expectations in their uh, investors call but you know what they said it about red dead online about red dead online standalone about everything everything exceeds their expectations they have pretty low expectations. Uh, Austin BMX. Hi, Austin. What's up? Uh, How do you get? Hope all is well in Red Dead Online grind. You find all these pesky collections yet. I found them all many, many times. And I'm not even grinding. I'm just doing something on the background. like uh you know that there is no reason to grind uh rather than line after a certain level true north packers fun says cat exceeds my expectations well that's <laughs> i'm not quite sure if it's a compliment <laughs> But, but, you know, jokes aside, Take-Two is saying about everything, like literally about everything. Oh, it exceeded our expectations. Even about obvious fails, like Red Dead Online standalone. I can tell you for sure, Red Dead Online standalone failed. It's just, like, sold nothing. Not like nothing, nothing, but not mu as much as rocks are planned even for five dollars and still it exceeded the expectations but it would be interesting to see uh, some like real numbers how many red the line stand alone they sold how m how many copies how many people are buying gta plus which again I, I i mean i have no idea why people even buying gta plus i mean if you if you played gta online ever you probably know that gta plus is not even offering any good bonuses like, why people buy it? Austin says, True that we can always hope for new content. I haven't played traditional Red Dead Online in over a year, but would come check out new content. Well, unfortunately, you know what? It's, it's hard to expect a new content. Um, as Rockstar manages it. But, yeah, but I understand why you haven't played traditional, because, you know, after playing on RP server, playing traditional is not always the same. It's like, it's like what happened with me uh, about GTA Online. I played on RP server for a year, 
and like after that like even checking new content in uh in gta online feels like meh rp servers doing much better job than uh rockstar is doing actually so for example austin pmx has a server um and uh from what I heard, from what I seen, it has way, way more content than, you know, regular Red Dead Online. But uh, there is a problem with RP server since we're talking about it. Rockstar, again, not take two, Rockstar seems to care about RP now. And it's not a good thing. It's it's not a good thing. They finally realized that RP servers are just making too much competition for them. Uh, just because you know a lot of people are trying RP servers and not play. Oh, no, 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 not a bear again! Whoa! <laughs> Perfect landing. Now run. Run! Jump! Jump! Haha, -ha, stupid bear! Ha ha ha! So, are you winning, son? So I, I, I tried to hide from a bear. Any advice for achievement getting an MVP in Red Dead Online games? Well, you have to go to showdowns. Uh, it's here. Open left menu, then quick join. And you see different series. Uh, if you are a low level, my advice would be if you want to become an MVP, try hardcore series. Sometimes uh, they add it some weeks, so you can find it in featured series. It's because there uh, there is no advantage. High player, high level players don't have advantage over beginners. There it will be, I think, easier for you to get MVP. Let's try to jump. Oh, I can jump here actually. I didn't know that. Nice. Where, where, where did that bear go on? Bear. Okay, I actually got distracted <laughs> and was reading chat and uh, bear just disappeared or something. Okay, L let's go. And he was like, okay, uh, I'm, I'm going out of here. You are boring. You don't want to fight with me. I think, yeah, everyone is saying that he's hiding in a chimney. Maybe he's hiding somewhere. Le let me actually equip shotgun just in case. Maybe, maybe Bear is waiting until I will be starting to, you know, picking up this collectible to attack me. Surprise attack. Austin says, I think Rockstar realized how RP servers have helped free publicity, at least on GTA. I hope they keep that mindset low. Uh, well, that's the problem, you see. Uh, according to data that I saw uh, from previous uh, investors' call, they are starting to sell much less copies of GTA 5 from last two investors' calls. So uh, it's slowing down. GTA 5 is slowing down, like after nine years. What a surprise. And uh, they might not need this publicity anymore. And even more, it's still a competition. So, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting situation. They might uh, choose different strategies here. Um, Shinobi is asking, is Red Dead Online overall better on console than PC? Yeah, <laughs> not even close. Because uh, there are no cheaters on, on consoles. 
Like, uh, if you play on a PC in Red Dead Online, you will quite often see some weird stuff going on. And it kind of ruins uh, experience and immersion, at least in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, if you have a good PC, Red Dead Redemption 2 will will look much, much better on PC than on consoles. But you know what, on next-gen consoles, it, it looks f fine, good enough. Not even good enough, but pretty good. Uh, but not having all these technical issues that quite often happen on PC much more often than on consoles and uh, not uh, worrying about uh, cheaters and mod menu users, in my opinion, is really important. I think everyone in the world owes it, so only new 8-year-old are buying it. Yeah, but there are quite a lot of new 8-year-old <laughs> kids every year, so that's why it still sells well, but it sells less and less. We'll see, actually. Next uh, investor's call will be quite interesting. Everyone says, I enjoy... Uh, instantaneously bur bursting into flames or being attacked by clones of myself on PC. Yeah, that's what happens on PC quite often. Oh, what a jump. Oh, so Zora. RP, uh, cheaters on RP servers. Spawning bears in Valentine. Yeah, but you know what? It's just like on a GTRP server that I was playing. Some people cheat, but uh, on this RP server there are admins um, and they, they ban cheaters like pretty fast, pretty fast. And in Red Dead Online or in GTA Online story is different. No one even cares about doing anything about cheaters. Like, Rockstar is just doing nothing at all. So, yeah, there will be cheaters in every game, unfortunately. Uh, but the question is, how... How often they get punished for being cheaters? And uh, in Red Dead Online, situation is just terrible with this. Trickster says, there is kind of too much role plays on console in Red Dead Online. There are no role play on console at all. Unfortunately, again, role play servers are only for PC. I wish actually there were role play servers for console, but I'm telling you something. If somehow, someday, I don't think it's, it's possible, but let's imagine uh, it's possible. So if someday RP servers will appear on consoles, immediately that day Take Two will just shut every single RP server down, like instantly. Massive uh, these uh, strikes and lawsuits. I'm telling you, they are tolerating PC RP servers only because it's just a uh, pretty small market comparing to consoles yeah there is some competition but it's only on pc and yeah they get free publicity and that's why they are fine and you might say like how oh no it's not gonna happen because all these famous streamers are playing uh on this uh, 5m server they will be mad no one will care they will shut them down like in a second If, if somehow RP servers will appear on consoles. Uh, what breed of horse are you riding and was the horse mask part of an outlaw pass? Uh, I'm riding Turkoman and yes, 
Uh, if I remember correctly, all horse masks were parts of different outlaw passes. I'm pretty sure it was never possible to get a uh, horse mask in any other way. Except from outlaw passes. Jean uh, uh, Fallon says, what is a jacket that woman has on a free roam menu? Let me check it. Oh, it's, uh, it's from Quick Draw Club. I think it is. I don't remember how it's called, but maybe not. Maybe no. Maybe from Quick Draw Club. I, I'm not quite sure. Sorry, I'm not. I don't remember. But I think it's from Quick Draw Club. I, it's just I have a ma male version. It looks a little bit differently, but really similar. Uh, it's LNZ says it's a jacket. Yeah, so from from Quick Draw Club. Yep. Austin says I would pay for a private server on console to run it as a community type RP server. I, I I'll tell you more. I would pay to have a, a invite only lobby to have uh, you know to manage events uh, with my viewers. Uh, but it, it so it will run on my. Um, my PC or something but even invite only lobby would be cool because as for now just making any community events is like too much uh, too much troubles because you know people will be joining uh, who will just troll and you cannot kick them and stuff like that Chester Du says I will pay if Mia Khalifa play <laughs> As Madame Nazar. That's an interesting type of uh, DLC. Trickster asks, why doesn't Red Dead Online has any private servers? No idea. I mean, in GTA there are invite-only lobbies, uh, crew-only crew lobbies, stuff like that. In Red Dead Online, only public lobbies. And that's it. Sit on a rig, uh, says, I miss the poker trick of creating solo lobby. It's not working anymore. I didn't know that. I thought it still, uh, it, it still works, but I was not using it that much. Um, but I thought they tried to fix it and failed. But maybe I'm wrong. Oh, it's probably him. Uh, Moonlight Gaming says, do you think there will be a Red Dead Redemption 3 release in next 20 years? Yes, I think in... Uh, what the... Why animals attacking me today? Like, what's wrong? Like, what's wrong with this bull? Oh, it, it's an ox. <laughs> I got my revenge. Got my revenge. Nice. Tony is saying there is peace mod, so they prob probably don't think they need to make a private lobby. No, there is a defensive mode. And uh, to be honest, defensive mode is not gonna protect you, even from griefers. And I'm not even saying that... Uh, it still will be people who you don't want to be in your in your lobby just because they can do some dedosing and stuff. OZ is quoting Dutch, saying revenge is a fool's game. Wise wise words. Uh, Benjamin is saying, hi, can you send me cheers to Chile? Chile. I, I'm not quite sure if I pronounced uh, the country name correctly, but cheers. 
Austin says two things private lobbies and rockstar editor would be uh, huge for Red Dead Online and creators and communities uh, again uh, rockstar editor I always thought that you know they uh, they always planned to add rockstar editor to next gen version of Red Dead Redemption 2 to, to to sell it basically to sell it better uh, but no, next gen version of Red Dead Redemption 2 is just not happening. So does uh, Rockstar Editor, and like, why? I have no explanation. Odd Noble says also 60 FPS. Yeah, obviously, uh, next gen version means 60 FPS uh, plus uh, something. Because you know, it's still, yeah, 60 FPS is cool, but. It's gonna be hard for Rockstar to sell 60 FPS for real life money. They need they need to add something. And as for uh, you know free patch, next gen patch, it's just not something that Rockstar does. They will try to sell it, but they need to add something to 60 FPS. Okay, guys, let's uh, let's check. Actually, uh, the question was about rebooting Red Dead Online as one of the options for, let's say, next gen. You know, reboot it to fix uh, problems. So, is it a good idea to reboot Red Dead Online on the next gen consoles? Yes, seventy. Actually, I'm surprised to see that so many uh, players. Uh, thinking that rebooting is a good idea because you know usually reboot is not something that like a lot of players are happy about because it means creating a new character and no 27 percent interesting interesting Jan Smith he says I like dragon dragons who doesn't who doesn't Unfortunately, there are no dragons in, in Red Dead Online. It would be cool, though, uh, as a Halloween event or something. Zack Story, thanks again. You telling me I've been playing Red Dead Online on 30 FPS? Yeah, it might surprise you, but yeah, if you even if you have a PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X, you still only have 30 FPS even in full HD, which is which is fun. Okay, hiding from a bear on a on a rock. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> hiding on a from a bear on a rock. What are you gonna do, stupid bear? Yeah. Huh? Who's the boss now? Shut up. No, you shut up. Yeah, okay, let's see if he if he can handle it. Go away, you bear. And I, I think he's broken now. Hey, bear, are you okay? Uh oh. Let's see. Zach, uh, story. Thanks again. That's insane. It's so uh, insane. It's always felt like 60 FPS. No, you know what? It's actually it's quite noticeable. Each time when I play on PC and then go back to Xbox Series X, I notice a difference. But when you play on Xbox Series X, yeah, it feels kind of smooth and and fine. But when you jump in from PC. To uh, Xbox or PlayStation, doesn't matter, every way it's capped uh, with 30 FPS, you will see the difference. And uh, for the first, like, I don't know, maybe half an hour, it feels kind of painful, <laughs> literally. Stay! I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna 
go to Valentine with my bear. Travis is saying, if you sedate the bear and then revive it, it will not attack you. It will not attack me anyway, because it's, uh, it's scared of me now. Look. Hey, bear! Stop! We will go to Valentine and, and have some fun there. Hey, stop, bear! Uh, toxic... Lore says, I never would have thought that you would be this handsome. Oh, th thank you. Thank you. Bear. Kill the bear, help a noob. Give them the skin, Darren Lee says. No, bear, uh, it's not a legendary bear, so not like his uh, pelt is any sort, has any value. It's it's a pretty low value stuff, so Bear, let's go. We're going to Valentine. Bear No 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 wrong wrong way. Wrong way. What do you think? Can can I can I go to Valentine with the bear? Bear Let's go to Valentine. Unfortunately, uh, Bear cannot enter uh, saloon I uh, I'm telling you because I tested it <laughs> artistic mess is saying chasing the bear like he stole your beans he wouldn't dare to do this can you lasso a bear no you cannot lasso a bear even uh, if uh, the bear is sedated is the bear your pet? Yes, the bear is my pet now. I'm not quite sure about legendary birds though. Maybe if you if you uh, sedate a legendary bear, you can lasso uh, him. But I'm not quite sure. I don't remember if I tested it. Because, you know, you cannot lasso sleeping wolves, but uh, but you can lasso a sleeping legendary wolf. Drimes is saying, you really running after a bear? Yeah, that's what I do. You are, you're crazy, crazy man. No, I'm just, just, just jogging. <laughs> jogging. Is it correct what to say, you know, when you're running for a health? Captain Yellow says, you can lasso all legendaries, I think. Yeah, maybe. You, you probably should be able to lasso Sleeping Bear. But uh, look, I, I, I definitely cannot lasso a bear. Jogging. Yeah, I'm joking. Do it just for giggles. That's that's what I do. Just for giggles. It's a PvP bear. <laughs> it says Doom X. Okay, here we are. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure what will happen if uh, there will be some random player. Like, if bear is broken and not attack me. Or the barrel is broken and not gonna attack any other player. We will see. Ellison says, no, you cannot lasso the bear and you cannot lasso any bear or the legendary bear. I, I just don't remember if I tested it, uh, but I... I'm pretty sure you can lasso uh, bison and uh, legendary wolf. Comics, uh, Cosmic is saying, this is animal abuse, I will report you. What are you talking about? It's just my friend Bear. We are just going to saloon to have a drink or to, like, what kind of abuse? It's a, it's a friendship, it's called friendship. You don't understand it because you don't have any any bear friends. And I do. 
Well, let's go. We are going to saloon. Up. Actually, um, we kind of go into the wrong direction. I'm not quite sure how uh, I should uh, like lead the bear to saloon exactly. Uh, Hyon is asking Is there a way to sample and skin a legendary animal Or just one or the other e In legendary animal missions from Harriet You can only choose between skinning and taking an animal pelt uh, But with in a free roam Back in the day there was a sort of a glitch uh, Where you could take uh, sample and also uh, take animal carcass and bring it to creeps from smaller animals like uh, cougars or panthers uh, wolves uh, where you can put up uh, the carcass I don't know if it was fixed now I don't know Okay, I'm not, I'm not quite sure if, if the bear... Oh, no. My cat <laughs> just in his sleep, uh, he fall from the table. Fell down from the table. Poor cat. Happens. Oops. I don't know if you heard the sound, but... It's quite a, quite a, quite a big... Oh, what, what is kind of funny is that he continued to sleep <laughs> Like, oh, I'm fine And now he's sleeping again uh, What breed is your cat? Uh, it's, it's British? British One, one my cat is British and second is Scottish Fold But I, I kind of forget which one is which breed Let's try shooting into the air. Maybe it will scare the bear and he will just run. Nah. British short hair, yeah. Olga Antoshkin is asking, since your bear looks vegetarian, does he prefer baked beans or canned kidney beans? I think kidney beans, because, you know, bears, uh, they love kidneys and liver. Bear. Let's try to call... Uh, the, the thing is, I'm not quite sure if my horse will be afraid of the bear. Because, uh, yeah, it's not attacking me, but it's still a, a predator nearby, so maybe a horse will be afraid. But let's try. Oh, no, horse is not afraid of him. Bear, let's go. Cosmic is saying they also love little kids. Bears, yeah. Okay. So actually we're getting closer to Valentine. So maybe I kind of can control the bear. Uh Up. No 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 no. No no no. Bear go back. Yeah. No. No 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 no. Oh, yeah, nice. Imagine how uh, Valentine griefers will will be surprised to see a bear. Or maybe they will just kill him 
because they shoot every everyone they see. It's like you you remember this mission where Arthur and uh, John uh, they should uh, bring ships to Valentine <laughs> and. It's pretty much the same mission, but in online, and instead of ships, I have a bear. Actually, lol, uh, Giacomo said the same uh, same comment. It is like the story where John and Arthur stole the ship. Just with the bear, it's literally what I said, and I haven't seen your comment. <laughs> uh, but uh, since we're getting closer... To Valentine, I guess. I guess a lot of RDR2 players have the same vibe. Okay, bear. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we're getting closer. Yeah, I can see Valentine already. Not a cocaine bear, I guess. Maybe maybe this bear will find some cocaine in Valentine and will become a cocaine bear. Okay, okay, bear. Let's go, let's go. Ah, uh, no, 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 I, I assume Bear wants to go back to his forest, but no, not so, nah. Um, actually, you know what, it's, it's possible that, uh, there is some script that is not letting wild animals in Red Dead Redemption 2 to enter towns because I, I'm telling you bear is like an invisible wall here he gets here and look now he will turn around yeah and he turns around so you cannot uh, unfortunately you cannot get a bear inside of a, a, a valentine town Saint Denis would be fun th too. In Saint Denis, police officers will shoot him, for sure. Yeah, look, it's an invisible, like an invisible wall around uh, around Valentine, that like scares him away. Phantom Breeze. One way to bring predators to towns is to sedate a gator and drag it slowly, otherwise you kill it. Yeah, I know this method. I've been doing it, but uh, you cannot sedate a bear. Oh, you can sedate a bear, but you cannot uh, drag it with lasso. Yeah. He's not, he's not entering. <laughs> Andreas uh, thinks that Valentine has a bear tux. Maybe it's not a time for a bear market yet in Valentine. Okay, just let, let's just walk around with my bear, because why not? Uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's also kind of interesting that we haven't met any NPCs yet. I'm just curious what will happen when bear will, uh, will meet some random NPC on the road. Cosmic says, it's fine, just bear with it. Then dog, hello cat, have a great day, sir. Have a great day, then dog. Actually, you know what, maybe we will enter Valentine from this side. Karo UK thinks that bear got dumped 
by his lady bear on Valentine's Day and uh, has bad memories because of that. It's it's possible. And that's why... Look, look, I cannot make him go into Valentine. He just stops. Unfortunately, we cannot find any NPCs on the streets. On the roads, Raza. Could you try shooting around the bear? It doesn't matter if I shoot or not. Uh, you see, when I stay uh, when I stay close to bear, he changes direction. That's how I actually managed to get him here. Um, but when he gets close to Valentine, he don't want to get uh, to go in the in the city, in the in the town. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe Komi, uh, Cosmic is correct, and this bird is afraid of griefers. It's possible because we all know that there are a lot of griefers in Valentine. But at least I have a cool bear. Will take to make Red Dead Online PlayStation exclusive? No. I, d I don't think they will. I mean, it would be kind of hard to do since Red Dead Online is already released, uh, was already released on many other platforms. They might make some, ex you know, updates in theory exclusively for PlayStation. Uh, but I don't think that, you know, PlayStation will be will uh, will be interested in such in such a deal anyway unfortunately bear is not interested in going into valentine and as for me i was thinking about stopping this stream anyway so guys uh thanks for visiting the stream for everyone who visited it including bear and thanks to everyone placed a like, oops, and everyone who's supporting me in a super chat, YouTube membership, Patreon, stuff like that. So, uh, what will happen next in Red Dead Online? On Tuesday, we will see a new monthly event. I will tell you about it. I don't expect anything special, but who knows, maybe there will be there will be some interesting bonuses better than the last month probably they will be better than the last month so with that being said see you next time and stay safe and stay healthy you know i always end stream like that and uh, have the good rest of this sunday evening right